Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Hudotz here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today we're going to go into one of our now classic, uh, straight to the point, raid counter guides for Lugia. This is going to include the tip top best raid counter guys and a couple of budget picks as well. If you are a newer returning player or just want to save some Stardust or whatever it might be, we're going to go into it. Here's what you need. So Lugia is going to be flying into Raze. It is a flying and psychic type. Uh, it can be shiny and it's going to have the new move Aeroblast. So this move we haven't had on Lugia before. So if it is something you maybe just want to grab one of, Happy days. If you want to grab a hundred of them, you do you boo. I'm going to be showing screenshots as well. And whatever the move set says on those screenshots are the best move sets to use. And if you need some different options for counters, I want to go full the, through the full list. Uh, the link to pokebattler.com will be in the description. So first number one counter is going to be mega Gengar. This thing just does stupid amount of DPS. It's going to be spicy. Keeping in mind as well, having a mega in use will then boost the move typings of other people in that group. So if Gengar is going to have some ghosty moves, it's going to boost all other ghost type moves in, uh, you know, the raid den. Lick and Shadow Ball are going to be the best for this, but keep in mind that Lick is a legacy move. You could use an Elite Charge Team if you wanted to, but if that's that's up to you to decide if that's worth the spend for you. The next like five best uh, Shadow Pokemon, so I'm going to cover like three of them because they are just so so expensive. Uh, but the next three being Shadow Raikou with Thunder Shock and Wild Charge, Shadow Electivire, and then Shadow Magnezone. Uh, so very very expensive. If you've got them, go for it. If not, it's, I still don't personally see the value in spending that much dust maxing out Shadow Pokemon because they are more expensive to do so. And then, you know, if you're going to do second moves and things like that, like, meh, mm, that's up to you. One in there that might be one that you have got and maybe you've powered up just for fun is Shadow Zapdos. That's also an option. But jumping away from the Shadow ones, here's what we can use. Mega Houndor as well is going to be a bit of a thumbs up. Snarl and Foul Play on that moveset. After that, a couple of Legendaries and Mythicals. So we're going to have Zekrom uh, being great. Darkrai as well, which we've just had in raids. So maybe you've got a couple of decent ones on hand. And Giratina Origin Form. Uh, so a lot of Ghosties, a lot of Dark Types. And thankfully the last two we've had pretty recently in raids. So hopefully you were able to get your hands on one or maybe you can trade a friend for one. Thankfully the following counters as well are pretty accessible, I would say. The next one up being Rhyperia. We did have Com Day for this one a couple of months ago. Again, hopefully if you haven't got one, you can trade someone for it because they were everywhere. Galarian Darmanitan, a little less accessible, but it's an option. Regular, old fashioned, non-shadow Raikou does good too. Uh, Weavile, pretty cheap evolution to get. And it's been one that's been making a feature fairly frequently. So uh, this would definitely be one that I'd recommend to keep as like a decent, you know, recurring counter for raids if you've got a, if you've got a good one. Electivire, Rampardos, possibly a little bit harder to get if you are a new player. Uh, Chandelure as well. Look, we just had the Halloween event. Surely You've got hopefully at least one decent Litwick and enough candy to evolve one. Chandelure, again, always, not always, but has been very much a recurring uh, raid, like top raid counter. It's one of those ones as well where you can just like use charge TMs or fast TMs to kind of change the move sets because it's ghost set and it's fire set are both really, really, really good. So I have just got one maxed out really, really good Chandelure and I just alternate it's like charge and fast TMs uh, every couple of months, depending on the, you know, the requirement for the raids. Mamoswine's great too. Zapdos you can use as well. Luxray makes a feature, which is pretty nice for a bit of spice. And then getting down into some of the more budget picks as well. Again, Tyranitar, it's back again. You should have one. Again, again, I say it's like every single time we do a raid counter guide. Tyranitar, like have a Bite Crunch one and a Smackdown Stone Edge one. Like just one of each that's spicy, that's good. Max them out. They return so frequently. And at the very least, you know that they're relevant for a lot of things. Gengar. Just regular Gengar makes a feature here too. We just had Halloween. You should have enough candies for one. Honchkrow, Aerodactyl, like even going down into Magneton itself, if you don't, like you can't afford to do the Evolve for Magnezone. But essentially you're gonna be wanting to hit Lugia with ghost types, dark types, some rock, some electric. There's a lot of options. Uh, and do keep in mind as well that Pokemon Go really heavily weighs in the fact of type effectiveness. So it's not like in the main series games where you can kind of, you know, use a non-effective move and drop stats and things like that. Pokemon Go really, really favors type effectiveness. So even if you are the newest of returning players, it's still gonna be generally better to use a type effective Pokemon, type effective move, than just to use like your maxed out Blissey. I've got this tank of a Blissey and it's gonna use pound. It's not gonna do anything. It'll take the hits, but it's not gonna be contributing to getting that raid boss down and defeated for you. So definitely, uh, especially for Pokemon Go, opt for the 
type effectivenesses, even if it means you're using like, you know, a, a mid tier Jolteon. That's still gonna be better than using random stuff like Blissies or your chubby chances or whatever gets recommended uh, to use. So good luck for your raids. Good luck for the shinies if you are hunting for it. And as always guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.